guys and welcome back to Sis Whipping. Got another video in for you now. Uh, this one is on the 2019 Mark 7.5 Golf R. Uh, this car comes with a 2 liter TSI motion engine and it's kicking out almost 300 horsepower. I think it's 296 to be exact and 280 pound feet of torque. Uh, and it does have a good 0 to 60 in 4.6 slash 4.8 seconds. Now in a hatchback, that is absolutely nuts. Completely mental and I love that about the Golf R. Um, the reason why I can actually do it in that 4.6 slash 4.8 seconds mark is also due to its seven speed DSG dual clutch gearbox, which is an absolutely amazing automatic gearbox in such a small little hatchback as well. The purpose of this video really was just to go down to a dealership, have a look to see what like a realistic spec that most people would want on the car see how it, uh, it turns out with prices and see what kind of quote you would get back and really just to give a little five minute flex to see really if this is a car which I personally think is worth buying or not but yeah that's one of the main reasons why I had a look down I went down to a VW dealership in London had a look down sat down with the salesman kind of pretend like I did want to buy the car because in London that's how anyone only speaks to you if you pretend that you actually want to buy the car because car club is Club, car club culture is kind of dying around here but <laughs> we move <laughs> we carry on we try our best um but yeah i went down into the dealership um like i said the print pretended like i wanted to buy the car get a few more uh, clips about the car unfortunately because of the managers and the people there i didn't get to do much filming of me driving the car i got to do a lot i got to do a few bits here and there about the car on the outside and how it looks uh so i did you know, just get my camera out as quick as I could and just did some covert uh, filming. So, apologies, this is a short video, but uh, hopefully an informative one and a decent one at that too. So, let's see what happens. on the Golf R. The Golf R starts at £36,000 on the road which is quite pricey for a Golf. Still, uh, obviously it's the most expensive as it being the top of the line and the big daddy amongst all the Golfs. Now it's not £36,000 because once you start wanting to put a few more of the extras in that almost everyone's going to want to get, um, give or take a few here what, I, what I've put on, it then starts to creep up into the 40s which is really in my opinion kind of almost like entry-level sports car kind of money so you're hoping you're getting a lot out of this with your money well let's run through the options of what I have put on and I'll tell you the total price and the breakdown of everything that I uh, added on to the total price of the car first things first I started with the color that exterior color of the car I went for an Oryx white which is 995 pounds for the alloy wheels, I went for the Spielberg alloy wheels, which were the 19 inch ones, because it comes with an 18 inch, which are okay, but there are 19 inch options. The Spielbergs were 810 pound option. Now, I did not pick the Napa leather option, which was 2,500, because two and a half grand for leather in the gold. I did go for the panoramic sliding sunroof, that was 1,500 pounds. Rear tinted uh, glass uh, uh, windows from B pillar backwards, quite cheap actually, 125 quid have that easily and then here is the option that you may or may not go for depending how loud and boisterous you like to be on the road but this is the Akropovich exhaust system which is an upgraded sports exhaust that comes with anti -drone, an anti-drone as well and it just makes the car come a lot more alive now personally beforehand if you'd asked me a week ago and specking out I would not expect out because it is a three thousand pound option I probably would have gone for maybe a Quicksilver exhaust or maybe another well-known brand but ever since Luke Papworth aka Hampshire Photography uh, managed to put a, a second-hand Akrakovich exhaust system on his Golf R it completely transformed the car making it just a, a whole new car the cracks, the pops, the bangs everything, the upshift, how violent it sounds even the downshift and the fact that it's, it's got its anti-drone and, res and non-resdily is just amazing like once you put it back into normal mode 
it was just a normal cruiser, highway cruiser, as the golf always has been, turn it into sport, absolute madness. It's crazy. Now, would I recommend getting it? Well, this is how you've got to view it. It is a £3,000 option. That is quite expensive. It is the most expensive option I've gone for on the car, which made it creep into the 40s. But depends what you want the car for. I mean, the standard exhaust, it sounds really good. It sounds really good, but as we all knew, the new EU laws with new filters having to be put into exhaust, it's good to a certain amount. But the Akapovic uh, exhaust system takes it to a new level. So I leave that totally up to you. All the option lists from standard I've actually only added five options onto the car that is the exterior paint the the upgraded wheels into 19 inch wheels the Akrapovich exhaust system the rear what's it the rear uh, windows being tinted and the panoramic sunroof now maybe apart from the Acro the exhaust system most people are probably gonna go for those four uh, kind of options there and they have totaled almost six thousand pounds just in options but bear in mind that half of that is just the exhaust system on its own so you're looking about three grand in options which i think most people are probably going to go for so like i said the car started at thirty six thousand in uh basic with no added options thirty six thousand one hundred and eighty to be exact now with the five options that i've put on the car has come in at a total of £42,800, which is a lot of money for a Golf. So even taking out, even taking out the exhaust system, it's now just bringing it just under 40000 at £39,000. Still a lot. What, this is what it works out to with finance figures. Now, these are rough guesstimates of these prices, merit I add. Please do not take me on my word for it. I'm just using the golf calculator, right? And then on top of that, you uh, just using normal calculations and a bit of rounding up and, and everything. I'm not trying to be fl absolutely flawless with this. Now, obviously from dealer to dealer, it will be different pricing because some of them, depending on how good you can bargain them, they may came to come down in price, or if you're not so good, they'll mug you off. PCP, 43,000 pounds roughly let's go on the fact that you'll probably have to give in a 10 percent uh, deposit of the car so about four thousand two hundred slash three hundred pounds uh i'm leaving room for about a, a fourteen thousand slash fourteen and a half thousand balloon payment could be higher so don't quote me on this uh based on four years with about ten thousand miles uh the apr is at three point eight percent which gives you a rough figure of five hundred and seventy nine pounds and eighty six pence a month so i'd say give or take give or take ten percent on those figures there so expect anywhere between that to the 600 kind of mark and that is based on the options that i have picked up <laughs> moving on to the, the exterior and the interior of the Golf R and see what we think about it a bit more. Start off with the interior. Now the interior is classic Golf. Well put together, very neat, very trim and very just useful. Just very something that's in every day, not too flashy but not feeling like it's crap inside. It's the best way to describe how this Golf looks inside. The Mark 7.5 comes with the latest Golf interior and latest Golf infotainment system. It is not the Premium Plus that uh, you can upgrade and up, upgrade up to. That's an additional £1,500 as well to consider. But you do get a wider screen and a few more toys and everything like that. In my personal opinion, having experienced both, I mean, if you've got the money, go for it, upgrade it. But you're not missing out terribly. To, uh, in my opinion, of if you don't have the Premium Plus infotainment system. 
But yeah, I really like the interior of the Golf R. It's actually really comfortable to sit in. The driver's seats give you like really good cushioning. They're really comfortable. I can see myself doing long motorway miles in it. And when I'm doing a bit more enthusiastic driving, I feel decently supported to be fair. I'm not exactly the tallest person. I'm about six foot one, but even in my position sat in the front, I could get into the rear and I didn't have the biggest amount of leg room, but it was, it was very decent, especially for a hatchback. And this is what we forget that VW and the Golf are just so good at. They're good at making a small car, well, it's not that small, but making a hatchback extremely, extremely practical and very livable for people to be, to have and use every single day. Now, the exterior. The one thing I love about the Golf R is this, the subtle lines, the subtle creases, and just how it really looks like it's a sleeper. It doesn't, you wouldn't pull it, a lot of people who don't know much about cars, you may pull up to it at, at a red light, and you may look over and be like, well, oh, nice wheels on that, well, it's just a Golf. Meanwhile, put it into launch control, launch it, and you would be left behind. Cause Join me as we're about to take a test drive in the Golf Farm. See what it does. Like I said, I couldn't take the I couldn't film myself taking my car taking the car out on a test drive. But rest assured, when I say I was extremely impressed by how it felt and how it handled. With the four-wheel drive system, taking roundabouts, taking corners at higher speeds, you felt so secure and so planted to the road, considering that it's a front-wheel base, front-wheel bias-based four-wheel drive system. The, the steering feels quite direct as well. Uh, and yeah, the brakes, the brakes, the upgraded uh, R-line brakes are very, very good brakes. That's enough of me talking. Thank you, apologies, just wish I got more uh, um, filming of me actually driving the car, but rest assured, we will be improving by each video, by each video, we move. But yes, thanks once again for watching. Please, please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, uh, make sure that you're subscribed, hit the notification bell, share this video with your friends and family if you think it's any good or any decent, um, follow us on uh, Instagram and that is at Sis Whippin, the same spelling as the YouTube channel. Uh, stay tuned, stay logged. Peace and love. Thanks for watching and uh